for a new year, everybody. This simply me, Lisa G. How doing, everyone? We're getting things together, getting ready for the festivities of the night to say bye-bye to 2020 and hello, 2021. Simply me, Lisa G. <laughs> Almost twenty twenty one. Right here. Right here. Six. Four, three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yeah. Happy New Year! 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 Over here blowing things. Happy New Year! Good morning, everybody, and it is Vlogmas Day. What day is it? Today, I am going to be doing a vegan boil. So, follow me. I'm going to show you what I'm putting in. Of course, you can tweak it to your liking, but I'll show you what I put in there. So come on, let's go. I already put my packet in the water to boil and start to simmer. And I'm going to add next, that is the um, crab boil seasoning. Instead of doing potatoes, I'm going to use cassava. Once that boils down, I'm gonna add some corn. Yes, I'm using frozen corn, okay? <laughs> Don't drag me for using frozen corn. I'm gonna be using these Fuel Rose Smoked Apple Sage plant-based sausages. I'm gonna be also putting some sliced bell peppers, broccoli, red or purple onion, depending on what you call it. <laughs> Ahead and I dehydrated some tofu and I diced it up. And this would be the same type of consistency of the typical egg. So I just sauteed those vegan sausages that I showed you earlier. I just finished cutting up all of those peppers as well as breaking apart my broccoli. And I'm sorry, I forgot to show you that part. So now we have a simmer going on. I just turned down from the heavy boil. I took the stems off the broccoli. So there you have the broccoli right there as well as the peppers. Dump in those sausages. I'm gonna dump those sausages in, so there we go. All right, and this is what my boil is looking like so far. I'm gonna give it a stir. So everything can be incorporated in there. And all those flavors boil is done next time you see it is when we'll be having some and yes this is a huge pot all right so it is eating time and it is spicy and this is such a delicious vegan soup Everybody, this here, this is the American Victory Ship and Museum, and it is one of the only, well, one of only four fully operational World War II ships in the country. 
okay? And it's recognized on the National Register of Historic Places. You can experience an unforgettable voyage of discovery. I had a blast on this ship just going through everything that it, it has to offer. Three level cargo holds, radio, gyro rooms, hospital, galley, weaponry, steering stations, flying bridge, signaling equipment, wheelhouse, mess halls, crew cabins, lifeboats, the captain's quarters, cargo equipment, and engine. You see all types of rare artifacts, exciting exhibits, uniforms, medals, documents, photographs, all right here throughout its nine decks. It transports you back like seven decades to when the brave soldiers fought the harsh seas to reach their comrades around the world, servicing the United States Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, carrying ammunition, goods, cargo, equipment, materials, and troops necessary to defend the country. So... This is an amazing, amazing place to visit. And um, I've checked it out before, not today, but nonetheless, it's somewhere that I'm definitely gonna be going back to. All right, so this is it. I am on my way to pick up our food. We already ordered it from Cider Press. Hi, doing good, thank you. Now it's time to eat. <laughs> How beautiful! Look at the Christmas tree. There's multiple Christmas trees. There's another over there by the pier. everybody so I'm about to eat just want to show you I got some truffle fries from cider press hubby had these the last time and they were really good so I'm giving them a try are they still very good what is this, a banana? I'm not mad at this like a banana. Um, what is that I forgot what we got fake bacon. oh that's fake it looks like a banana yeah that's bacon yeah Yep, so he, I think he has banana peel bacon. I'm going to show you their chicken sandwich. Look at that. Okay, first bite. Chicken sandwich is popping. It's good. I ate mine so fast. <laughs> it's good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Man, that's good. You can't even tell it's vegan. That's what's so crazy about it. Mm. It's crazy. This one, bro. Yeah, banana is good. This is good. I'm going to show you this food. There we go. Yeah, his bacon right there. I'm trying to give you a good look. See that? I think that's what it is. Nonetheless, I got truffle fries. I got truffle fries and a chicken sandwich. I'm about to tear it up. See you back in a little bit. Hi everybody, about to look at a model. Okay, so we have the living. This is a part of the great room here, which is currently being used as an office, but you have the dining. 
great room. A wall here, which looks like it may be a supporting wall, which separates the kitchen. Possibly a, a coat closet adjacent to the laundry room. Coming back around from this way. You have the kitchen with an island. You can pull bar stools up. High ceilings and your pantry, which is a decent sized walk-in pantry. So you have a laundry room in your kitchen. I made a left at the hallway. And the first thing that we come up to is a hallway bathroom. And we have a closet in this hallway here. It looks like a linen closet. Then to the left you have a spare bedroom, which is currently being used for studio selections and then you have another bedroom here so in this wing you have two bedrooms and the bathroom near the kitchen and the washroom going to the garage you do have a French door to your enclosed patio again french doors for your master large enough to house a king size bed actually this is the owner suite not the master with a decently sized walk-in closet in your owner suite and your bathroom with a dual sink counter, a garden tub, your bath, your toilet, and a stand-up walk-in shower. Three bedroom, two bath, and this one is 1720 square feet. Hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell drop me a comment let me know what you like about the house and i will see you next time